Yo, good morning, what's good everyone? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Shout out to everybody in the hula gang. Uh, I just got a haircut, so naturally I had to hop on here and show that drip. Um, but all jokes aside though, I was talking to my barber and we're just hanging out, shooting a breeze and we had a real good conversation. Um, and the message was to not be a follower. I think uh, a lot of the times what stop people from being great and achieving like the greatness that they want to achieve is that they're afraid of what their friends will say, what their family will say, they're afraid of doing something different, they're afraid of the looks or the laughs. And I encourage you all that if you are in a situation or an environment like that where you don't feel that uh, your creative ambitions and aspirations are being manifested by your friends as well, where your friends are like, hey, that sounds like a good idea, how can I help you? I encourage y'all to lead those friends, man. Lead those people, um, take a second to step back and look at who you surround yourself with. Because there's a quote, it's like your bank account is the average of the five people you hang around the most, right? So why would you hang out with people that are stagnant? Why would you hang out with people that are, are closed-minded and that aren't pushing forward every day, that aren't motivating, that aren't inspiring, that aren't hustling? Um, because more importantly, a lot of them are going to be doing the same old thing five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, and they'll hate it. And I'd hate that for that to be something that happens to you guys. So, again, uh, when it comes to investing in yourself, like, yeah, you may feel like a loser, man. I got a crochet business, okay? And I'm a tall black dude with tattoos and, like, all that. So, when people see that our crochet business, they're always drawn back. And what's even funnier is that's how most of my money's made because it's something different. Some against the norm, right? And rather than being tied to the opinions of others or how they felt about um, what it was that I do and that I didn't fit a norm, I said screw it because bills need to be paid truthfully you know and i wouldn't let put like the sake of my life in the hands of someone else because they don't think that that's something that i should be doing so uh i said i'm gonna cut this one short man i said all that to say invest in yourself like my barber said today don't be a follower don't be afraid to go against the grain don't be afraid to try something new and if you fail who gives a damn right if you fail take note take notes log it down write it in a journal and take that information and put it towards whatever your next endeavor was. Because um, I had a quote I shared on my page and it said that the problem was a lot of people that have failed in life, they quit before they got to the point that they'd always dreamed of. So don't quit, keep working hard, keep pushing, keep inspiring. I hope you all have a safe 4th of July. Um, have a good day, man. I appreciate all the love, support, and comment below actually what, what new endeavors uh, that you're gonna do. What, uh, how are you gonna get outside your comfort zone this weekend? I appreciate y'all, love y'all, peace.